Now, today we've got more MLS highlights here. Um, today we've got Atlanta United FC against FC Cincinnati. Wow. You know, a few weeks back, I would have said it's a no-brainer. Cincinnati are winning comfortably. But of recent, Atlanta's form seems to be improving. I think they've won their last two games um, against Nashville and um, against um, Seattle, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. They've won comfortably the last two games. Um, they won 4 0 against Nashville, but Nashville, as we already know, one of the best sides in the division. You know, and they won 4 0, which is very impressive. They beat Seattle Sounders as well. Um, so it's a team that's improving day by day. You know, they have been consistent throughout the season, but these are the right times to be performing because the playoffs is not too far off now, I think. Um, FC Cincinnati for me they should be winning the MLS Cup well they should be winning the league period because you know they've dominated the whole of the MLS throughout the season they are miles clear of the rest of the teams you know so this is what I don't understand about you know the, the structure of like the MLS I don't like the fact that teams can be pretty much be average throughout the season and still win the MLS Cup you know it shouldn't be that way you know, for me, FC Cincinnati, or like the other, the other conference, what's the other conference? The, um, the Western Conference. I feel like the two teams from those, you know, from those conferences should be going into the final. The top two teams I'm talking about should be going to the final and play for the MLS Cup. You know, it shouldn't be where, you know, a team like Atlanta or like another team that's been bang average for majority part of the season, you know, can still go on and compete with FC Cincinnati who have been more consistent, you know, who have been putting out better performances throughout the season, you know, like, it shouldn't be that way, man. It should be the best two teams from each conferences compete at the end of the season for the MLS Cup. And the rest of them in the playoffs, you know, um, can play for, like, um, a CONCACAF Champions League spot, something like that. You know, and the bottom three from each conferences going to, like, a relegation-type tournament where maybe like the two worst teams or three worst teams in that tournament get relegated. You know, a lot of you guys don't like relegation and promotion, but for me, it, it's the way forward. If this league is going to grow and be regarded as one of the best leagues in the world, you need to have promotion and relegation. And you can't have a team in the playoffs, a random team in the playoffs, win the MLS Cup, you know? So, um, yeah, make sure you subscribe to the Patreon. Um, subscribe to this channel as well. Get me to 20k. We're trying to hit 20k. The work rate is about to go crazy. Like I'm, I'm going to start, you know, uploading maybe daily now. I need to get going. You know, I need to start reacting to other stuff. Maybe um, not react to like American football or basketball for now, because a lot of you guys have told me um, I need to stick to um, what I know, which is football, and that makes sense. You know, I've thought about it. You know, bringing another sports, NFL, NBA. You know, sport I'm not really familiar with. You know, probably, are, you know, probably not even that passionate about. You know, it's not gonna be maybe as entertaining. You know, so maybe the right thing to do just to, you know, just stick to football. You know, I wanna include other stuff as well. Maybe like react to other leagues and footballers, individual performances. You know, so um, but yeah, enough talking. Uh, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go. Chandi Silva on the left, so creative, so attack minded. So, Almada, of course, you know, one of the most talented players in this division. I think he got called up to the Argentinian squad, which is good. Yeah, Kamakis, good player. But Guzan, probably one of the best keepers in the MLS as well. The yeah. They do have a good team, um, Atlanta. Of course, so this guy for me, one of the best players in, 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 the, in, in the whole division as well, literally. Costa, Almada, wow, two very high quality players competing today. Leading the line Should be a good game. Top alongside Sergio Santos. Braguzai, clean sheets in their last two games for Atlanta. And Roman Celentano has been a revelation this season. We are underway at Mercedes Benz. Couldn't. It is a long distance out. Sorry, guys, I was just checking <laughs> again if it's recording. <laughs> So then these guys' free kicks are like penalties, bro. You know, it's, it's like it's bound to be on target, basically. These free kicks are literally... I don't know who's a better free kick taker. Um, Gerard Prowse or Thiago Almada, bro. Like, 
or even Messi, like I think he's up there with like Messi, J. Ward Prowse, and, and those people. Because his free kicks are just unbelievable. So like it's close, it's very far as well. You know, look at that. That's a world class. I don't I don't even know if the keeper saved it. I was gonna say that's a world class save, but I don't think he saved that. He just hit the post or the crossbar. Yeah. Um, let me increase um, the quality quick. Also leads Major League Soccer. Both rocking the tans. Lennon. Good ball. Good touch. Bang, bang, bang. Inside the area. Wow. What a volley. Nicely floated crossbar. Oh, this touch is just beautiful, bro. Beautiful. You know, it's sexy. <laughs> okay. I'm getting too carried away. I mean, that volley is just. Bang! You're gonna have had 10 goalkeepers in that goal, and they're not saving that. Oh my goodness. Here's Shande Silva now for ah. Leeds United. Silva cuts inside. Silva! Oh my god. A rasping effort. Atlanta are playing a lot of confidence now. That's the difference when you start winning games. Oh, go, 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 go. That back hill. That back hill is disgusting. That simple as that. Look at that. The awareness, bro. The, the vision, the, the cleverness. You know, he has to do better there, though. He has to do better there. This guy that, um, that took that shot. Yeah. I think he slipped. Just, just when he was about to pull the trigger, he just slipped. A great football. It's time to show their quality now, um, Cincinnati. You know? Oh. Acosta! Oof. Give him the ball. You know, he's a danger man, Acosta. He keeps his width. You see Hosetu right here. Just gets beat with a little bit of a fake. But because you have Vasquez Oof. peeling off, you have Hosetu falling to the ground, and you have Holsey right there. right. It opens up this little lane. Grab one before the break. Acosta with the corner. Goes short. Ah. Flicks it back. Oh, Oof. He's good and save it. Santos coming. Look at where Santos is. All the way on this near line. He draws that. Great corner. Cool this is straight from the training ground, bro. They've been working on this on the training. I can tell you that right now. This is not random. This is from the training ground. Where Santos is. All the way on this near line. He draws that player over. So then when they lay it back to the top of the 18, there's a space there. Again, for me, he should be doing better. To find Barrial. First, I'm thinking, why is Santos not in the box? Use those wide spaces with some of that space, with some of that pace, excuse me. On the right hand side with Arias, on the left hand side, Barrial still in. Off and running then for the second half in Atlanta, Georgia. Shande Silva. Uh. Oh, that looks clumsy then. Go. Oh. Uh. Barrial. Hit it. Keep playing, playing, playing. What? Cross that, cross that. Go. This is a goal. What a save. Teammates fist bumps when they come up big. This time he's getting the applause. This just a deflection kindly falls. Yeah, it seems like since now you're starting to get hold of this game now. You know? Starting to get hold of, hold of this game. It's time to show why they are so far the best team in the MLS. Ah. Hit it. Oh, good feed. Yeah, the goal is coming. If they keep defending like this, bro, and don't push up and put pressure on this ball, they're going to concede very soon, Atlanta. They need, they need to get out. They need to get out. They're too deep right now. 
the line. That's what Arias is looking for, that ball back into the middle. Nice ball from Wobro, wide for Arias. Acosta. Uh. Lucho Acosta. Looking for that pass. Oh! oh! Wow. Okay. The MLS MVP. By the way, I only do this for Messi. Messi is the only player I've done this for, like, where I do this. Wow. This is a Messi type goal. Very similar type, you know, to Messi, where he just passes it and the guy lays him, lays him off and just finishes it. This guy is quality, man. Quality. And the crazy thing is, one of the smallest players on the pitch as well. One of the smallest players on the pitch, but in terms of talent and quality, He's one of the biggest, you know? Let me know in the comment section below. Who would you rather have in the team? Well, in your team? Costa or Almada? Let me know below in the comment, comment section. Key candidate, Lucho Acosta, with That's an unbelievable oh, goal. Just a little bit right there, drives it in. You saw him saying, look, I was about to say, like, there's not enough space in that area, man. You know, maybe play out wide. I was saying play out wide to this guy, but... You know, he believes in this guy, man. He believes in his hold-up play and his link-up and his intelligence and his quick thinking because he needs to think very quickly. That ball was played at him. Wait. You know, this guy. I mean, fair play to um to Acosta, but this guy as well. You know? Look at that. Quick thinking. And what's a finish? No space. This is a goal of the highest quality. How congested that play, um, um, you know, that, that space was. Go! That should have been the winner, but that's it. I mean, are you serious? Seriously? Look at that! I mean, that's the right type of finish. That's a, you know, definitely a diving header type finish that was required there. But I don't know how he didn't hit the target, bro. Oh. They should be winning this game, um, Cincinnati. They look like the much better side. Cross is just brilliant. Come on now. They want to play out from Brett Braguzan. They want to find the holding mid or the six. Can they keep it? Huh. They can't even get they can't even um get hold of the ball. Um Atlanta. They're struggling to keep the ball. They're on ropes right now. It's all Cincinnati. You know? Black wide, wide. Cross it first time. Go. Yep. Yep. Obvious, very obvious that the wall was coming. Back at the bends. But again, it's capitalizing on the moment. It's getting on the wrong side. You find the wide space and that little hesitation right there inside. And a ball laid yeah. on the deck right across the six. You cannot have an easier finish if you're Vasquez. The defending is terrible off, off from Atlanta. On the wrong side of it. You know, but uh, the, the warning signs were there. You know, the warning signs were there. I was saying it during the reaction. I was like, get up. You can't keep playing like this. You know? Cincinnati, two goals in quick succession. Robinson with the flick. Uh. Away by Murphy. And Done. There is the full -time whistle. What a team, bro. What a team, bro. They are, they are a fantastic side, Cincinnati. Fantastic side because... This is a tough game, in my opinion, because, you know, Atlanta just won two, two games in a row, in form, full of confidence. And I know, even though they're not performing right now, Atlanta, this place is still very difficult to go and get a result. You know, so they've done that, and, you know, and they're looking good. Even combined, like, the table, if you look at the league table, combined, both conferences put together, Cincinnati, they are still the, the best side. They are miles out of everyone else. You know, more than, I think, more than 10 points clear of, like, New, New England Revolution, who are sitting in second place. They are 
so clear. It's crazy. So dominant. So for me, they should be winning that, that, that MLS, man. That's how it should be. Like the best team wins it. The best team in the table deserve to win the trophy. It's just like the Premier League. You know, Man City, you know, finish top. They win the Premier League. That's how it should be for the MLS as well. Or at least, you know, because it's two conferences have where the two best sides from both conferences, like I said at the beginning, the two best sides go into like, you know, into a final for the MLS trophy. You know, because they are, the two teams have been more consistent. So they deserve to be in the final. You know, but with the way it's designed, like the, the MLS, even with this performance, even though they've dominated, um, you know, the MLS Cincinnati, they might still not win the MLS Cup. <laughs> That's how crazy it is. You know? But yeah, uh, make sure you smash this like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to um, subscribe. That's it.